How to connect your eBay account to AutoDS First, head to the AutoDS website at autods.com and on the top right, click on Sign Up Now. Then you'll be taken to the AutoDS platform. The first thing that you'll need to do is enter your email address. Once you do that, click on Continue and then you'll be prompted to enter your full name and your desired password. Once finished, click on Continue. Now you can select your preferred selling channel. In this example, we'll go with eBay. Now you'll need to select a plan that suits your needs best. So whether you are a beginner, an advanced or an expert dropshipper, you'll find the right plan that will give you the best bang for your buck. Here you can choose if you'd like to process your payments using PayPal or a credit card. We'll go with PayPal, so enter your login credentials, then click on agree and continue. You'll be taken to the AutoDS platform with a welcome screen and here you can add your first eBay store. Then enter your PayPal account email which is associated with your eBay store. The eBay target is the region that you're selling on and you can choose if you want to use the non-API version which comes with less functionalities but does not require an API connection to eBay. Once you're finished, click on connect to store and you'll be taken to the eBay login page. Fill in your login credentials for eBay and then you'll be taken to the grant application access for AutoDS. This is to approve the API connection, or in other words, to approve the connection between AutoDS and eBay. Once we click on Agree, we'll be taken back to the AutoDS platform, where our first message will be waiting for us, and we can already go ahead and get started with our eBay stores. Now I would like to talk about how to configure eBay business policies when it comes to AliExpress's products. So what we're going to do now is set our shipping policies and our return policies to make sure that they match the products that we are selling so we won't have any problems on eBay and our customers are going to know exactly when they're going to get their products and what conditions they have when it comes to returns and so forth. So let's begin. First things first, let's head over to eBay. That's where we're going to set our business policies. Now what we're gonna do is head to our account settings. That's where we're going to have access to our business policies. So here on the top left, account settings. And here below we have our business policies. Now here's all of the policies that we have on our eBay store. So now what you want to do is click on create policy. Now you should already have your payment policy set. This is your PayPal payment policy. If this is your first store, then create a payment policy. But this policy should stay the same whether you're working with Chinese or US suppliers or any other supplier. You want to get your payments on PayPal so long as you're not using the eBay managed payment system. So what you want to do here is create a payment policy called PayPal payments. Make sure that PayPal is checked in. Enter your PayPal email address. And you want to require immediate payment when the buyer uses the buy it now option. Then what you want to do is save the policy and that is how you create your payment policy. So whether you had that ready or not, you definitely need to have this on your list of policies. And now let's create our shipping and our payment policies. So again, we want to create a policy and this time we're going to click return. I opened it in a new tab right now just so we won't lose that tab. Now the policy name is going to be AliExpress return policy and the policy's name is just for reference of course only you are going to be the one who will be able to see it. Now let's scroll down to the conditions in this policy. So first things first make sure that domestic returns accepted is checked in. After receiving the item your buyer should contact you within 30 days. So we have three options here, 14, 30, or 60 days. We're going to give our customers exactly what AliExpress is giving us. So in this case, AliExpress is giving us a 30 day buyer protection. And that is exactly what we are going to give our buyers. So we'll keep it at 30 days. Return shipping will be paid by the buyer. Now I would want to go with seller, which means free returns for our buyers. It will help us rank higher on eBay search engine. But since AliExpress is not giving us free returns and we have to pay for our own return labels, that's exactly what we are going to give our customers too. So go ahead and choose that the buyer will pay for return shipping. And in international returns accepted, we are also going to accept international returns because AliExpress accepts them too. Same rules apply here. After receiving the item, your buyer should contact you within 30 days and return shipping will be paid by the buyer. Now let's go over really quick AliExpress's return conditions. If we want to open a return, AliExpress will give us 30 days just like we are giving our buyers like we can see here. And it also depends on why we want to return the item. 
If the buyer simply regretted his decision and simply doesn't want the item but the item is already on the way or has already been delivered to him, they can still return the item but they'll have to pay for return shipping even if the product arrived damaged in bad condition or not as described the buyer will still probably have to pay for return shipping will have to contact aliexpress they'll probably ask for photos of proof we're gonna have to get them from our buyer send them to aliexpress and maybe we will succeed in getting a free return and then we can roll that free return to the buyer or keep that for our own profits but either way there is some work to be done here when it comes to returning merchandise to china so keep that in mind but also remember that returns and refunds take up for maybe one percent or less of our total business so it's not something that we're going to have to deal with a lot and it really also depends on the products that we are selling and the sellers that we are selling those products from so that is why we always want to go with high rated sellers and products that have been proven to work that way we're reducing our returns and refunds and we won't be spending too much time and energy on this Either way, it is very important to get down the returns and refunds in your business policies and make sure that they are set correctly so we won't be confusing our buyers and everything will simply work much smoother this way. So once we're done setting that, we're going to click on save and our return policy will be created and every listing that we add from AliExpress will be able to choose our AliExpress returns policy. Next, let's create our shipping policy. So back to our business policies page, we're going to click on create policy. And this time we're going to click on shipping. So let's go and create our shipping policy right now. The shipping policy's name again is going to be AliExpress shipping policy. Then we're going to scroll down. And now in the domestic shipping, we're going to keep it on flat, same cost to all buyers. And in the services, we're going to scroll down and under the economy services from abroad, we are going to choose economy shipping from outside the US 11 to 23 business days. This is the most suitable policy when it comes to products that are coming from AliExpress. And if and when you find sellers that ship their items much quicker than that, then you can use different policies for them. And don't forget that AliExpress also ships from US warehouses and others that ship much faster and the item location won't be coming out of China. So make sure that you have the right shipping policy for each product that you are adding from AliExpress. So products that are going to come from Chinese warehouses, this shipping policy is going to be mostly suitable for them. So we're going to choose once again, economy shipping from outside the US 11 to 23 business days. Then on the right, we're going to choose free shipping. Keep in mind that it's much better to have free shipping on our listings. eBay will make them much higher on their search results. And in the pricing settings of AliExpress on AutoDS, you can set AutoDS to always include free shipping and take AliExpress's shipping price and add it inside the product's price itself. So you can always offer free shipping and make whatever amount of profit that you want on top of that. And now we have the handling time. Now, the best handling time to choose is always three days and below. But when you're starting off with AliExpress, you want to start with four business days and you also want to process out your orders as fast as possible. The handling time is how long it takes for you to provide a tracking number as soon as you get an order. So in this case, we're telling eBay as soon as we get an order in up to four business days, we will provide a tracking number. Now, if you can do it in three or two or one, that is great. But first, try out those sellers, see which ones can really ship out their items in under four business days, and then create a separate shipping policy for those fast sellers. Until then, use four business days and adjust that as you go along. Now, another small trick that I like to do is to offer an additional service. And this time, we're going to choose in expedited services from abroad, we're going to go with economy speed pack from China, Hong Kong, Taiwan, 10 to 15 business days instead of the 11 to 23 business days that we just had. Now what we're going to do is add an additional price that you would like to profit if your customer uses this shipping option. And what they will see here is instead of getting their package in 11 to 23 business days, they will see that for an added, for example, 299 they will get their package in 10 to 15 business days. Now, what are we doing here exactly? Most items are going to arrive to their destination in 10 to 15 business days anyway. Don't forget that you have another four business handling days on top of that. So most chances are they're going to get their package in the total 19 business days 
that we are guaranteeing that their products will arrive. And again, if you're choosing a product from a good seller who ships fast, this really shouldn't be a problem. So what's going to happen here is we're just going to make another $2.99 100% profit coming out of that. So that's a neat little trick that we like to use and it works every now and then, always nice to have. Now let's go down to international shipping. And here we're going to choose again, flat, same cost to all buyers. We want to enable international shipping on our listings. More people are going to see our listings from around the world and buy these products. On the ship too, we're going to choose, choose custom location. Next, under the services, we're going to scroll down. Select economy shipping from China, Hong Kong, Taiwan to worldwide. The cost will be $0 and each additional will be $0. So this is free worldwide shipping from AliExpress to anywhere around the world. And these are the countries that usually always qualify for free worldwide shipping. We're going to start with Canada. Then we're going to choose Europe, United Kingdom, Germany, France, Japan and Australia. So these are the chosen countries that have free worldwide shipping from AliExpress to the rest of the world. Now what we want to do is offer an additional service. Again, choose custom location. And this time, instead of economy shipping, we're going to go with standard shipping from China, Hong Kong, Taiwan to worldwide. And this is going to be the same method that we just did up here which means the customer is going to get the same shipping option, but we're just going to profit a little bit more. Again, it's a neat little trick that works every now and then, and it's very nice to have. So what we're going to do here is add that little extra bonus that we want to have. It can be 297, 197, 99 cents, whatever you see fit. It's extra profit. Just don't get too greedy because people will not choose it. Then in the each additional item, let's have them pay another 97 cents. Now we're going to choose the same countries as above. And now we're going to choose an additional service for the rest of the countries that usually are expensive to ship to. Well, not really expensive, but AliExpress is going to charge us more. So that means that we need to charge our customers more to cover our costs. So now what we're going to do once again is choose a custom location. And we're going to go back to economy shipping from China, Hong Kong, Taiwan to worldwide. And this time in the shipping price, we're going to charge another $4.97. AliExpress is going to charge us around three to five dollars. So we're covering our costs in this case. And for every additional product, we're going to add another three dollars and ninety seven cents. So what we're going to do here is choose North and South America, Mexico, Brazil and the Russian Federation. These are the countries that AliExpress will ship to, but they will charge us a little bit more. So we are going to roll that charge over to the customer which is around $4.97. This is the maximum that we could get charged. So in the worst case, this is what we're going to have to pay. Best case is we're going to make some extra profit over here. And if the customer adds more than the quantity of one, that's going to be a 100% profit margin for us. We're going to charge another $3.97 for each additional quantity, but we won't have to pay that price to AliExpress. So that sums up all of the countries that we can ship to. There's the countries that have free shipping, which is these countries. This is the extra profit from those countries. And these are countries that cost an extra price to ship to them, which we are charging our customers. And for any additional quantity, that will be a 100% profit margin for us. That sums up the shipping policies, but we still need to end with our exclusion list. And these are all of the countries which we cannot ship to. So first we're going to click on the edit exclusion list, uncheck everything here that's been checked. Okay, so I did a little bit of cleaning. Everything has been unchecked. The only countries that we checked in so far, which we do not want to ship to, is these three up here. And under international countries, we're going to click on show all countries under Asia. And we're going to click in China and Hong Kong, two countries that we do not want to ship to. Then click on hide all countries. And same thing for Central America and Caribbean. Click on show all countries. Scroll down to Puerto Rico, check that in because we do not want to ship over there. And that's it regarding our exclusion list. Scroll down and see that PO boxes is also checked in, which is a part of our exclusion list. Then click on apply. That's it regarding setting the shipping locations for AliExpress. It may seem a little bit intimidating at first, but after you do it once, you'll see that it's actually pretty simple and everything here makes sense. Now scroll down, click on save, 
and that is all now when you're adding products from aliexpress we have our payment options we have our shipping options and we have our return options so all of our policies are created and we are ready to go adding products and connecting them with our policies good luck and happy drop shipping